Welcome to Bible 180 Proverbs. Proverbs is written like a father giving instruction to his son who is coming of age. He gives him advice about how to speak, showing humility and respect, considering the lowly, and advice about women. The son is repeatedly encouraged to find a woman of good character and commit his heart to one who will take care of it, not an untrustworthy or selfish adulterer. Wisdom and folly are personified as two women trying to gain the young man's attention. Folly is personified as an adulterous woman whose lips drip promises of honey, but in the end is deadly bitter. Wisdom is like a wonderful wife. She offers knowledge, support, and discernment, and in the end is better than gold. Proverbs teaches us to buy the truth and not to sell it, but it's not knowledge of physics or biology that Proverbs is most concerned with. Wisdom is insight into the heart of humankind and mind, as well as into the heart of the Lord. Even more important than knowledge of creation is respect for the Creator who created and orders all of creation. Therefore, true wisdom is found in following God's instruction. Following His Word will lead you to navigate this world more successfully and preserve your life. Proverbs is filled with pithy and thought-provoking statements there. More puzzles than promises. It's more likely than not that a lazy man will end up poor or the patience and humility will lead to a better life, but they are not ironclad guarantees. Sometimes, in fact, they are riddles inviting us to wrestle with one that they mean. One reoccurring focus is speech, such as a fool's mouth is his undoing and his lips are a snare to his soul. Some consider values like faithfulness and loyalty. Many a man claims to have unfailing love, but a faithful man who can find. Others condemn unscrupulous behavior, like differing weights and differing measures. The Lord detests them both. They instruct us how to live in a right and fair way, because after all, Yahweh will care for the righteous. Still others unveil how God values things, such as to do what is right and just is more acceptable in the Lord's eyes than sacrifice. The book ends describing the wife of a noble character. This is the kind of woman the man should be looking for, one who is hardworking, resourceful, compassionate, and faithful. These are the attributes he ought to be seeking because she will be a woman who will be a lifelong blessing to his life and faith. Proverbs 9.10 sums up the book. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Proverbs is really about commitment to the right one. Whether it's choosing wisdom over folly or finding the right woman, Proverbs talks about committing our hearts. More important than riches or instant gratification is the one who is good for us and who can be trusted with our hearts. We can bear our souls and lean on the Lord Jesus Christ. His faithfulness and wisdom are to be valued more than all the fleeting and fickle promises of this world. He will not disappoint us, but reward us for our trust.